friends killed, cousins killed, and today it's really no different. We all had to experience a gun battle. We ran, we scattered, we hid. The access to guns for youth is too great in our area. Interesting, the word rewind. If you remove the R and the E, you have the word win. And unfortunately, our little boys and our little girls have been casted in the midst of the wind. Someone came here and shot him in front of his two of his boys. I refuse to let my child's death be in vain. Yeah. Let the face of my six-year-old son pop up in your head. We have to implement a program that those who want to take lives, that we get them off the street. Hello everyone, my name is Aaron Johnson. And on today, I stand in representation for my generation that enough is enough. Now you see, we have to stop the violence. We have to put the guns down. Now you see, in order for us to save our generation, we have to change our generation. Black lives matter, all lives matter. Now is the time for us to be set free. God bless. Imagine being a victim of a crime that should have never happened, but it took a life. And now a mother is mourning because a baby boy is gone, can never return back from the other side. Asking young people that you not be brainwashed by the music and by the lifestyle that you may see other people living and we need to be more mindful of our communities yeah. young kids killing each other you know when you got when it when it done got to the west the youth carrying guns and, and acting out like you know what i'm saying like something got to be done by who y'all parents be going going getting these guns buying what you buy guns? Martin luther king malcolm x everybody came out with a purpose and they was taken away because it was something. I don't understand the point of all the violence. Um, it's not getting anybody anywhere. It's not helping nobody. Uh, I know when I was growing up as a shorty, I mean, you had to respect everybody on your block, in your neighborhood. Hi, this is Bishop Reginald Adams of Life Bridge Christian Center, located here in Baltimore, Maryland. Within the last 30 days, we have had 27 homicides here in Baltimore, Maryland. Here, while we're here and I'm speaking to you all, during this documentary, I'm pretty sure on my hand of five fingers, five children have just now been shot and killed over something senseless and foolish. foolish.